but we do know that this will happen. Scripps seismologists are sounding the alarm about the big one, rattling San Diego sooner rather than later. And 10 News weather anchor Kristen Keogh found a store owner who says San Diegans are buying it. And they are spending money now on preparing for the big one. You have one branch that comes right along in here. That's Frank Vernon pointing out the San Jacinto fault line. He started studying earthquakes in 1977 trying to understand the puzzle of how these earthquakes work. The script seismologist says the big one is coming to San Diego. We know that we have the Pacific plate and North American plate moving against each other. So Scripps teamed up with a private company called Seismic Warning Systems to fund ANZA, a system capable of giving San Diegans critical seconds of warning. When the shaking stops, Adam Cabacungan says there are three main things you'll hope you have from his shop, Be Ready Incorporated. Number one, water. I have people that buy it for emergencies because they can put it away for 50 years and not have to worry about rotating their water constantly like we've always had to do in the past. Two, freeze-dried food. Just add water meals. Um, so you add cold water, it's a cold meal. You add hot water, it's a hot meal. Three, an emergency blanket. It reflects 90% of the heat back to you. Um, so it's very warm, or if it's a hot day and you need to get under the shade, it reflects 90% of the heat away. Adam says most of his shoppers are moms, spending about 150 bucks to stock up. This year has been extremely busy for not only us, but uh, the whole preparedness industry. And it will only get busier with scientists saying this. We can't tell you whether it's going to happen right now. 30 years from now or 100 years from now. But we do know that this will happen. I'm Kristen Keogh, 10 News. Bought a lot of food after the last earthquake. I ate it all already. These $700,000 donations from Scripps and Seismic Warning Systems should help the earthquake warning system stay up and running despite budget cuts proposed by the U.S. Geological Survey.